guys welcome back to the channel uh, today we are out doing a big old pick um, as you can see we're not in our typical vehicle we are in a u-haul so if you know we're getting a u-haul you know we got a lot of stuff to pick up so um, we actually have a fellow antique store owner from the antique shops of Michigan booklet timeless treasure shout out to Tavis uh, kept us in mind when he came across um, a large blow mold collection so we are going out to check out a bunch of Christmas blow molds. Um, it's the holiday season. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, right after Halloween turns into Christmas. I don't, it's the way it goes. There we go. Yeah. We're kind of far away. So it's, the, the seats are a little tougher with the U-Haul. Uh, but yeah, so the Christmas ladies here, we're going to go out and go grab a bunch of stuff. Um, we have a 10-foot U-Haul. So we have about 80 blow molds to pick up, I think. And we're hoping it's going to fit into this 10-foot U-Haul. Uh, Save us a little bit of money. Huh? We'll see. She's a Tetris queen is what we call her because she can stack and situate. So we're going to keep that in mind as we're showing you guys all this stuff. But So we're heading out to Mason, Michigan. Um, it's going to be about an hour drive, I would assume, in this U-Haul. And we're going to go pick up a bunch of blow molds. So we'll take you guys through the whole process. This is going to be a lot of fun. Time to get into the holiday spirit because uh, Christmas is right around the corner. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So, All right, guys. We will see you out there. Let's have some fun. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we are here. We you all done? Getting up to Timeless Treasures here. We're going to run inside, take a look. Amber's just 10 steps ahead because she's excited to get in there and get rolling. So we will show you guys everything once we get inside. Let's go talk to Tavis and go from there. Beautiful shot. Hello, how are we doing today? All right, you just got greeted at the shop, and we'll show you guys a little bit. As, yeah, a couple down there. You know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, well, they got a couple of them down. But look up here. Oh, yeah. And they go back as two guys. They go back all there. We got more down here. That's the face of a happy lady right there. No, I will be when I get my beer. But yeah. Beautiful shop too. We're gonna be doing a, uh, what is that? It was uh, antiquing in the Midwest out here as well. Cause this place is a really nice shop. You guys definitely have to come out here and see it, but yeah. Plus Santa's up there, really nice. A lot of stuff Amber doesn't have, and then she'll be selling a few of a little bit of it as well. So, so yeah, plenty more stuff too. But we'll uh, show you guys more as we get going here. But uh, they're going to get Tavis right now, and then oh, those aren't included though. All right, guys, we are working in here. Got that ten footer. She is getting full. <laughs> it's Tetris Some now. of the box. I mean, these are awesome. I mean, we'll get these all loaded at the house and show you guys more. But yeah, these are great. The big one Ambers are going for is right there. Uh, deer, very rare, hard to come by. So those are going to be displayed at the house. Very cool. Got the flat back faces. I mean, this is going to be awesome. So we'll keep you guys up to date as we keep going here. Yeah. Hey. Hi guys, we fit in a 10 by 10. Not too bad. So let's see if it closes. I'm worried about that. I think we'll be alright. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, we're money. Money. Let's make sure you lock it in. Hold that back. Yeah, I know. Can you let there you go? There you go. Alright, we'll show you guys a little bit of what's inside here. We got the bodies and the heads and stuff. I mean this is packed full. 10 by 10 foot trailer can fit 80 blow molds. Just so anybody that needs to know that kind of information, we have that information. So all right, guys, we're going to roll in through here and see if we can find anything else in the store to buy. Tavis has a great shop out here at Timeless Treasures in Mason. So we're going to go inside and go check out what else we got, and then hopefully, maybe come up with a couple more things. We'll see. It's been a long time since we've been on, it seems like, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go inside, check it out, and then we'll show you guys the whole lot when we get home. So bye-bye. We have made it home, guys. Everything's made it home in one piece, it looks like. So that's good, and now we got to fit all that into here with all of our other stuff that we have to 
sell, get rid of. But we've always talked about it, guys. You can't pass up on good deals just because you don't have the room. <laughs> you make room, and then you'll make deal with everything else. So you know, we got all this stuff up there. we got so much Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations and... Loose arms. Mannequin arms. I mean, yep. Kids are already like, what are you doing? Eliza's out here somewhere. I can ask her. Hey, Eliza. What are you doing? Sitting. What do you think? How about what? All the blow molds. I think that mom. Whoa. I think um that mom's not gonna keep like she's gonna keep like two and sell the rest because most of them are ones she already has. We'll see. That's what I think. We'll see. But yeah, guys. So we are gonna start unloading these. We'll show you the final product of them in the garage. Value, I can walk through value-wise. I'm going to go in there. I shall have Amber walk through those. She knows a lot more about these blow molds than I do. So, yeah. So, let's get these unloaded, and we will show you guys after that. There's so many. Finally, we have a new home. You see you guys are in front of us? Like, under the bus? Yeah. All right, guys. So, the our, uh, blow molds have made it into the garage. Um, as you guys can see, I'm going to try to get as many faces in there as possible as I can show you guys. Um, the biggest one we got out of it is this lot right here. Uh, Amber, what do you know about this lot? These, uh, the snow and, or the reindeer and Santa sleigh there, and then the Santa heads right there. Well, these are Polaron, so these are really old. So that guy, I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, I got supposed him. To, yeah. Right here. He goes on top here with the sleigh, which we've got even the whole brackets. We've got the boards that they sit on. Easily, if I was to sell these, I probably could get two grand, but just know they're not going anywhere. These are these are to my personal collection. Yep, and then we look back here, guys, and we got even more. Uh, just a lot more of the Santas, the snowmen. There's a few in here she doesn't have. There's the flat back ones back there. Those are uh, quite valuable. Um, it's just finding the sellers for them. Now, the big guy back there, if you could see me point that one right there. Yep, that guy right there is the five and a half footer. If you guys looks familiar, it might look familiar because I did buy one from the Allegan Antique Market in one of our last videos. Um, now we got two, that one pointing towards us and then the one to the left of that as well is also the one of the five and a half footers. I'm pretty sure we could probably get a couple hundred bucks a piece out of those. Yes. Um, we really have to go through and start uh, deciding which ones Amber wants to keep and which ones she wants to sell and which ones she wants to uh yeah display with because uh what's the big thing that's happening around the town this year on they are doing a christmas they're doing a what do you what do you want to call residential competition so the big winner will get two hundred dollars and i'm pretty sure it's in the bag but you know, <laughs> I don't want to get too overconfident <laughs> right so yeah guys we got a lot of great stuff here there's a few in there that she does not have so i know she's gonna hold on to those but we're gonna be loading a lot of these together so if you guys are uh collecting blow molds or if you're looking for some yeah i guarantee out. we have some reach out us uh let us know if you guys are local or if, uh if not like i said we can ship as well just uh gotta go pay for shipping so um so yeah if you guys are interested in some blow molds christmas ones we got pretty much any and every one you can think of i mean these five and a half foot ones are really nice so and yeah. you want to rephrase that because I'm not shipping these. Oh, we're not shipping these. No, okay, no. never mind. Can, no shipping. We'll do local pickup. Local pickup. I, I am not shipping. No. But yeah, these are, it's a really awesome collection. We want to thank Tavis um, out at Timeless Treasures and Mason again. Very, very cool guy to deal with. Very easy to deal with. So if you guys are looking for some great stuff out there, we'll be doing uh, antiquing in the Midwest out there at some point as well. So uh, yeah, this is awesome. We're going to hope to get a, um, most of these moved around the holiday season. So like I said, if you guys know anybody, Looking for blow molds, let us know. We're going to try to move some of these, but I know Amber's going to hold on to some as well. So, all right, let me pop this around real quick. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys want to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff, much appreciated. And if you guys get some time and you want to come out and see me, Amber, we even have all the kids out there. Um, if you guys want to come out and see us, talk to business, talk about blow molds, the holiday season coming up, Christmas sale coming up December 2nd and 3rd, our funnest sale of the year. We do trivia, drinks, we are good old-fashioned Christmas treats, and you're gonna see discounts. Some You'll see some blow molds as well. So if you guys want to come out and see us for then, that'd be great. But if not, whatever, come out and see us whenever and get your antique fix. On M66. On M66. <laughs> On M66. See you guys later. See you guys later.